Welcome back to my channel, to my little corner of the internet. Today is gonna be part two of my trying cheap homecoming dresses video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button, join the family, and give it a thumbs up if you wanna see me try on more cheap clothes. It's kinda my favorite because I always wonder if these like super crazy cheap dresses are actually cute or if they're a scam. Good thing is I actually did receive all four dresses that I ordered. It took a while though. I got the Amazon dresses in like three or four days and it literally took two months to get the last eBay dress. So even though these videos are going up back to back, there was literally like a two month gap between them. <laughs> So I ordered four dresses in four different styles that all are fitting for homecoming. So I knew I wanted to get like a typical princess-y homecoming dress that was strapless, fitted at the top, and then that really pretty like flowy chiffon bottom part. I found this dress from an eBay seller who clearly it wasn't like a used dress. Like all these dresses were clearly made by a manufacturer. I think they were all overseas. This dress was exactly what I was looking for. It was girly, it had that chiffon kind of like flowy detail and it was $10. I was very skeptical, but I ordered it and it did come. When I took it out of the bag, I was pleasantly surprised. It looked nice, it looked well put together, but as I started to zip it up, I noticed that it was a little bit too tight in the boob area, which is a problem I tend to have because I'm pretty curvy, but it didn't feel like it was gonna zip. It didn't feel like it was too tight, didn't feel like the fabric was gonna rip. So I did the little top hook and then I started zipping and the top hook snapped off, literally popped off. I broke the dress. I have no idea how that happened. I didn't even feel like it was that tight, but nonetheless, I persisted, I persevered, and I did end up getting the zipper up anyways. Other than that one tight zipper spot, this dress actually fit me pretty well. It had plenty of room in the boobs, which was one of the things that I was worried about. It did come in at the waist. It had that kind of like fabric in belt that gave my waist some definition. The chiffon was nice. It definitely did not feel like a $10 dress. It felt like any other dress from like Windsor or Forever 21. The other thing I would say about this dress that I didn't necessarily like is it was pretty short. I Personally, probably wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this dress and I'm sure it would not fly with a lot of school's dress codes. I mean, it was barely longer than my fingertips. Plus the waist was a little bit higher than I normally like. So it wasn't quite as flattering as it could have been if it was a little longer, but maybe that just means I needed a size bigger. All in all, I think this is a pretty nice dress. I'm pretty happy with it. And for $10, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> The next style of dress I knew I wanted to get was a two-piece. Two-piece dresses are pretty popular. I tried one on in the Amazon dresses video and I was pretty pleasantly surprised. So I found this two-piece set and they had it in a bunch of different colors. I decided to get it in white since I hadn't been able to find a white homecoming dress that I like. I took it out of the bag, everything looked good, but immediately my eye was drawn to how short the crop top was. It looked very small, or I guess not small, just, just short. Like it didn't look like it had a lot of fabric on the bottom have. So I put on the skirt and it fit perfectly. And then I put on the top and I realized that my suspicions were correct. And that top is very short. I wore this same strapless bra with all the other dresses and didn't have any problems with it being visible. But in this dress, it was definitely not going to work. So uh, I took the bra off. So because the straps are so small, it causes the top to come up a lot to the point that if I raise my arms, you can almost see my underboob. So that was, that was an issue. But putting that aside, I actually thought this looked pretty good. I just pulled the skirt up really high. That way the little piece of skin that was exposed in between the top and the bottom wasn't too much. One other issue that I had with this dress is I couldn't figure out where the hooks were supposed to hook onto on the back of the crop top. And then I realized that they literally are supposed to just go through like the sequins, like the sequins were like sewn on and you were supposed to just like put it through a sequin. Seemed a little weird, seemed a little sketchy, but it did hold. I would be worried at homecoming if that pops off. I don't know what the heck I would do. So there were definitely some manufacturing issues on the actual dimensions of this. Like it could have been longer. There should have been hooks on the back. Would I wear it? No. Do I think it's awful? Also no. Dress number three, I wanted to do a just typical strapless bodycon dress. I looked around at a few different eBay sellers and I found this one that I liked. It looked very Vegas to me. Like I'm not in high school, so obviously I'm not gonna be going to homecoming, but I could actually see myself wearing this dress to like Vegas or to a party. When I took it out of the packaging, it looked promising. It looked pretty well put together. That's the thing that really surprised me about these dresses is none of them looked crazy cheap. I put on the dress and I immediately liked that the fabric was stretchy. 
like it really did give a lot and I had no problem zipping it up, but it still had that tight bodycon look without hugging my figure too much, which is a really hard balance to come by. I thought this dress looked pretty great on me and I usually feel kind of self-conscious in strapless dresses and in bodycon dresses, but I felt really good in this one. Only problem was after about mm, five minutes in the dress, I started to get major scratches on my arms from the sequins. They look great, but if I got that itchy and scratchy after five minutes, imagine a whole night of dancing in that during homecoming. Probably wouldn't work out too well. So I probably won't be wearing this dress again. It might work if you did it with like a jacket or something so that there wasn't that friction. Okay, so the last dress isn't actually from eBay, but I could not resist. I'm sure you guys have all seen those really inexpensive websites for really high-end dresses. And it seems like whenever I see videos or pictures from people who actually order it, it never looks even remotely close to the dress. So I was scanning some of these websites. I came across a website called Airy Dress and my eye was immediately drawn to this like thumbnail picture for the dress because it was Selena Gomez. And I was like, girl, you are not really really trying to get me to believe that Selena Gomez is wearing a $20 dress from Airy Dress on the red carpet. No, there is no way that that's their dress. They totally took that picture and then tried to make a dress that looked similar. I was intrigued. I was curious. I pulled that trigger so fast. I ordered that dress. I just, I had to know. Plus the dress actually looks really good on Selena Gomez. Like I know that's probably not the actual same dress from the same manufacturer, but if they did a similar dress, like it, it does look like a nice dress. I took it out of the box and of course all of these dresses are a little bit wrinkled so if I was gonna wear them I would have to seam them but I'm too lazy to actually do that for the video but other than the wrinkles it actually looked pretty nice so I put it on it zipped up without any issues and I turned and I thought it looked pretty good like first glance I'm like this is a flattering dress comes in at the waist it has that nice little like poof out it's very like girly and feminine and flattering and then I noticed uh, a pretty obvious issue with the dress the chest area was not made for like like anyone like it wasn't even I don't think it was made with like real human dimensions so I have a pretty large chest and it fit my chest just fine it wasn't pulling the fabric fit great I was like this is awesome this like never happens but there was this weird gather of fabric in the armpit that just felt so out of place like I don't know why there was so much extra fabric on like the sides like I'm expected to have this like big extra armpit boob like what's gonna fill that space like what's gonna fill that extra fabric like boobs aren't out here like why is it structured like that it it looked so off. And then looking back at the Selena Gomez picture, like there is like a little bit of a fabric gather, but nothing like the dress I received. I know this is like a crazy cheap dress, but I honestly would contemplate getting it altered and getting that fixed because other than that, I do really like this dress. Really though, this dress made me feel like good. It made me feel girly and feminine and I liked it. And I feel like it would be really fun and unique for homecoming. It's definitely still dressy enough, especially because it has that like silky texture to it. It kind of makes it more of a, a dressy dress, but it isn't your typical sparkly chiffon strapless homecoming dress that every other girl is gonna have. All right, those were all the cheap homecoming dresses that I tried on. If you missed Tuesday's video, make sure to click that card right up there or the link in the description to watch me try on some cheap Amazon homecoming dresses. What's interesting about this video versus the last video, the eBay dresses didn't really have any like major fails. There were definitely some issues with each dress, but there wasn't a dress that I put on where I was like, oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. In the Amazon video, I, I had a dress like that. It was, it was awful. Just, you're gonna have to go watch it to see. It's, it's horrendous. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.